Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be watching a video of the US and UK, kind of compared, kind of, um, I guess comparing them and seeing which one's better in certain aspects. The, the title is 25 areas in which the United Kingdom totally triumphs over the United States. So this will be interesting. I like looking at these um, from the US, of course, and um, really having a... Uh, open mind and trying to see, you know, you don't want to get too um, blinded by your own own country and feeling all fantastic about it and thinking everything's the best here. Um, so it's good to watch it and prob I probably agree. I think I do agree a lot with, I've said many times they do in, in Europe, especially a lot of things much more, much better, much more efficient. Um, over in Europe in general as a whole and UK kind of the same thing but um yeah this is going to be interesting and let me know as always if any, anything anything about one of these points if, if something's inaccurate or add on to it and if there's more so if yeah if, if it's true so let's let's see what he has to say and let's see where he's from too Five, and here are 25 areas. He's an American, so let's see. Kingdom this might be more interesting. Totally triumphs over the United States. Areas Let me in turn which it up. The United Kingdom totally triumphs over the United States. All right, let's get this right. out of the way. This list is meant to be a joke. I love the US <clears> and I love the UK. I'm not trying to start a war. This entire list is meant to be in good humor. So oh please, boy. So it's please, humorous. please don't take offense. Take offense, everyone. And let's see. 25. Let's see. <clears throat> Displaying actual prices. Mm -hmm. In most U.S. states, yeah, you don't pay the price the on the product. You pay the price plus the tax. In Britain, the tax is included. 24. Yeah, that, that's... Complaining. That's Nobody complains better than the British. Nobody. 23. Documentaries. Two words. David Attenborough. 22. Electric plugs. First of all, the voltage is higher. It's 220 versus only 110. But guess what? British plugs also have significantly better safety features. More power, uh, more safety. 21. That makes sense. Bathrooms. That's better as well. In America, if someone wants to check if a stall is occupied, they just peek through the gap. In Britain, this would never work. There is no gap. 20. That's also way better. It's, Roundabouts. It's weird here. The British obsession with these is warranted. Even the Mythbusters showed they were more effective than traffic lights. Yeah, roundabouts is something, especially going, even as a kid, I went to the UK, I think I was in fifth grade for the, when I went the first time, I believe it was, um, to Scotland and later to Ireland and then way later, um, England. Um, and roundabouts have always been my whole family loves them. They make sense to a lot of areas. I mean, certain areas I know it's way too crowded around here in these cities. Um, I think like the greater Los Angeles area in general has around, I don't know, it's like 18 to 19 million people. So that would be, I don't know how effective roundabouts would be there or how, I, I feel like it'd get crazy here. There'd be lots of crashes. People just don't understand it, don't know how to do it. But out away from the cities, I think they should have a lot more. It's like, it, it happens very often that we're out on a road in the middle of nowhere or, or not very busy. And you know, it's not going to be very busy in many years to come. And there's just a traffic light that you're just sitting there by yourself. It's, it's horrible. We have an obsession with lights. That's like our only way to do it. And these are very rare to see around here. You do see them, but 19. it's rare. Messing with France. As the British say, France is a beautiful country. The only downside is that it's filled with the French people. C'est seulement un blog. Ne vous aimons. Allons-y. You probably looked that up. Having their right flag before. put on other flags. Even a U.S. state has the Union Jack Hawaii. on it. Hawaii. Yep. 17. We learned that in a previous video, along with, it was just where the British flag, just talking about their empire in a previous video. Um, was in you know Australia and then it was in uh, Canada until like I forget exactly the date 55 or 65 is kind of on the later side like 1965 so and a lot of other places currently still losing at their own sports Britain invents soccer that's why they used to call it that and then can't win at it America invents basketball and then can't lose at it 
16. It's a weird one. Cops. On average, American police kill more civilians in one month than British police kill in two decades. 15. Do British police have weapons on, like guns on them at all? Because I know that's like super common here. Like even when I was in college and even in high school, cops will kind of like do a walk around every once in a while and they'll just have, have a pistol on them. So I don't know how, how like do police around the world have that or, or in some safer areas they don't have like you need like a specialty unit i guess or, or person to have a weapon i don't know let me know Dean. electing third party candidates here. okay it's not like this happens regularly but it definitely happens more than never and that is exactly how often it happens in the u.s 14 what <laughs> date format never happens yeah smallest to largest doesn't that make sense 13. Understating it does, it does make sense. During World War II, when Britain was being bombed almost constantly, Churchill referred to it as the unpleasantness. That just about sums it up. 12. Cheaper real food. In the US, only fake food is cheaper. Yeah, 11. That's true. The metric. To get like organic or just real stuff, real food. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely costs you. System. They don't do it perfectly, but they definitely do it better. That's true. Metric system. We do learn the metric system, but it, it's pretty light. Um, maybe like, I don't know, two times throughout school we uh, we learn about it and it, it makes sense. Yeah, Everyone knows it makes sense, but I think, I don't know, for some reason we don't change it. My theory is just that you slowly add it onto everything, you know, our gallon and, and everything that we use currently and just below it or above it, the bigger number, I guess, would just be, you know, you just use metric system numbers for everything and then slowly merge your population into that because it makes sense. And I don't know. I don't know why we have to be, we continue to be weird. I think it's like us and like what, three or two other countries still use the imperial system. 10. T. In Britain, teas are small, hot, and lightly sweetened. In the U.S., they're big, cold, and stuffed with diabetes. I know this is all a joke, too, but yeah, the, the last part, probably true, stuffed with diabetes. You, you put tons of whatever cream and, or, or sugar cubes in them. Um, yeah, it is cold, too. It's probably, I don't even know if it's more popular to have, like, iced tea and just cold teas. But uh, we'll go to, we'll have tea and stuff, rarely, but every once in a while we will, and it's hot, of course, so... Nine. Hot tea. Playing the villain. It's very normal here. If too. the bad guy isn't Russian, he's British. And if he's not Eight. British, he's American. Empire. Even today, the queen is still the head of state in 15 different countries. Mm -hmm. Seven. Yes. Rolling cheese. Only in Britain will you a find a bunch of too. people chasing saved. cheese down a hill. Cooper's Hill cheese rolling in wake. Super. Six. Entertaining. NHS. Pull that up after this. In the U.S., people declare bankruptcy because of hospital visits. In the U.K., you don't. As a note, the NHS is paid for by taxes, but even then, the U.S. spends over $8,000 per person every year for health care, while in the U.K., it's only around $3,000. Five. Everything's Marketing. pricier here, too. Or rather, the lack of it. In America, they actually stop live sporting events for the sake of adverts. And let's not get started on infomercials or medication it's advertisements. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Four, keeping calm. Just check the news coverage of Ebola. In the US, you would think the world was ending. In the UK, it was just another news story. Three. Yeah, I feel like our news in general is like hyper explosive at times. If there's one decently big story everyone jumps on it and tries to beat each other it's like you know if you know what yellow journalism is that's just kind of exaggerating it kind of making false points in a way it's not quite that but it's like really in this gray area of like they're really they'll say things wrong and just apologize for it later sometimes it happens quite often at least here and just apologize later but they'll get more more eyeballs watching them and it's crazy it's it's strange Taxes. For the Americans out there, in Britain, you have P-A-Y-E. It's how the government collects taxes, and it's incredibly convenient. As an employee, 
you don't have to fill out a single form, ever. In the US, the IRS oh, yes. could implement this system as well, but the tax industry is a huge lobby. Uh -huh. So don't expect to stop filling out W-2 forms or 1099 forms anytime soon. Yeah, that's what I've heard before. Two. Another thing that News. does not make sense. The BBC. Need I say more? As a note, the US has NPR, but nobody listens to that. It's not sensational enough. Let's get some CNN and Fox up in here. One, faster internet. Dear America, you invented this thing. Why does Mount Everest have faster internet than you? Yeah, that was, uh, that was, I feel like for the most part true. You could tell, yeah, like he said, don't, don't get too crazy uh, of what he says. It is, it is kind of a joke, but I feel like a lot of those are true. Um, and I agree with, uh, I agree with a lot of them. Uh, things make way more sense in Europe, UK, um, than here. And it's going to continue to be, stay like that. It seems like nothing, no one wants to change it. It seems like, but, um, pretty entertaining. I didn't know, well, I know our, our internet isn't bad, but it's definitely not the best. You know, I think, I don't, I don't remember what it was like South Korea or something or Singapore, was the highest probably Japan as well though the Asian countries are super high up there then I feel like Europe um, and then I feel like the US so that's that's another thing that we need to uh, kick it into gear so there's kind of monopolies on that whole thing it, that's a whole nother realm of strangeness here so I, I don't understand it but there's hopefully a reason behind it a lot of times there's not a lot of times there is let me know what you think about this if there's anything to add um, to any point he made um, and there, there's one that he did that I'm going to do after this, which it'll be, it's going to uh, flip it around. It's going to be 20 areas where the U.S., I think, triumphs or something over the U.K. So that'll be interesting to kind of see this one and then the, the, the other one when it's flipped around. So let me know what you think. Like you said, it's kind of like, you know, more joking about these things, but there's truth behind some of them as well. So... Um, and if I said anything wrong, please correct me or add something on constructively, please. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching. This was entertaining. I like this uh, just kind of bullet points really quick and uh, have a good uh, rest of your day.